right now at the back of the head. Come on, let's get out of here. Recognize him if you saw him. Did you ever forget what your father looked like? Production. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Private Vallette has a request to make, sir. Is there something your platoon commander can't handle, Vallette? Well, Lieutenant Hanley's giving me permission to speak to you, sir. I'll be right with you, Vallette. Hey, wait. I have waited many years for this opportunity, my Captain. Too many years. Excuse me. I thought you might want to look at this, Captain. Thank you. Well, we're looking for information, Mr. Fouquet. Anything that'll be useful. Useful? One owns a café, mon capitaine, one sees the bush all the time. And they talk, oh, how they talk. Excuse me. Checkmate King. Can you hold a second? Mr. Fouquet, I'm going to have my executive officer run you up to Battalion S2. I'm sure they'll want to talk to you. Yes, sir, mon capitaine. All right. Your father's French, huh? Yes, sir, Emile Vallette. My mother was American. They were divorced when I was four. My mom took me back to the States. I haven't seen him in 17 years. Sure he's here in Beauville? Well, no, sir. But I'm not sure of anything about him, sir. Where he is, what he does. And how can you expect to find him? Well, this is where he was born. I know that much. Is this okay with Lieutenant Hanley? Yes, sir. The platoon is dug in. Okay, Vallette, you take a look. But I don't want you to go it alone. 
There's still some stragglers here in town. I was planning on going with them, sir. That's good enough, Sergeant. Good luck, fella. Thank you, sir. The boy is the son of Emile Villette? Yes. Do you know his father? The son is a good soldier, yes? Yeah. Tant mieux. He will need much courage, I'm afraid. Emile Villette. I am sorry, but the doctor is not at home. He, he has gone to help some who were wounded from the shells. He will not be back for many hours. Can you tell us where he is? I am sorry, but I cannot help you. Please, my name is Paul Villette. The doctor is my father. Come in, please. Sailor suit. It was at Villefranche. We were there for two weeks. We look very happy, don't we? Yeah. Your mother's a very beautiful woman. Was. She died six months ago. I'm sorry, this is Sergeant Saunders. How do you do, sir? How do you do? Oh, and this is your Aunt Claire, my sister. Do you remember Paul? I'm afraid not. Oh, of course not. You were much too young. I asked her to tell you I was not at home. I did not know who you were. You are really here. <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> you, you must both stay for dinner. Claire is an excellent cook. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, Doctor, we should be getting back by now. No, no, no. You, you must stay. It is so long since I've seen my son. Well, I think it will be all right. The platoon is dug in about 500 yards from here. Just be back by 1900, huh? Thank you, Sergeant. It was very nice meeting you, sir. Oh, we will meet again, uh, I'm certain. Well, maybe we'll be around for a while. 1900, blood.
I will get some wine. You know what she's doing? Leaving us alone to get acquainted. Imagine uh, having to get acquainted with one's own son. <laughs> you, you can never predict what strange thing may happen in war. Father. Yes, Paul. I'm glad I found you. No. Once I had great ambitions to be an important doctor in Paris. You remember Claire. But these things do not always work out. So I came back here where I was born. And I've been practicing here almost uh, 15 years. It's a good life. Or oh, oh, it was, until the Nazis came. At least you're both still alive. I'm glad of that. I will get the coffee. Did you know her son and husband were killed in the first month of this foolish war? Your aunt is a good woman, Paul, but now she can think only of yesterday. And she walks around like a, a dead person. She will not think of tomorrow. Always. One must have tomorrow eh? to fulfill one's dreams. Till tomorrow. Sure, tuning up for something. Yeah. Have you seen the light? No, shouldn't he be back by now? Yep. I'm gonna go get him. All right. Hey, say bonjour to his father for me, will you? Surely you can stay a few more minutes, Paul. Father, if you've got a cellar, you better get in it. Emil, he is right. We should. shoot an American soldier, monsieur. But the Bosch might be back in Beauville by tomorrow, and then it would be too late. So? Come out. Sola. No, Bob! What do you want with my father? Uh-uh. He will be tried, monsieur. And if he is guilty, he will be shot. Guilty of what? Paul, I have done nothing. You are the son, monsieur, and the son has the right to know what his father is. Look at him. Because of him, many Frenchmen were tortured, deported, executed. It is not true. Paul, I, I have known they would say this. I, I have known it. But I, I am not a traitor. I, I swear it. I, I swear it. You swear it. Would you swear that the German capitaine never come to this house, huh? Would you swear that no Frenchman was arrested after each of his visits? But I had nothing to do with that. Everyone knows the German capitaine can eat nothing but milk and eggs. Is that true? Nay. And because of that, you accuse my father of... The Germans are their own doctors, monsieur. The Capitaine did not need your father for his medicine. Could I refuse? He said no one else could help him. I, I gave him medicine, nothing more. I, I am not a collaborator. Paul, you, you believe me, do you not? Yes, father. Put on your guns. I said, put him down. Bullet, what's going on here? It's my father, Sergeant. They're accusing him of collaborating. He tried to interfere, Sergeant. It will be a fair trial. 
Sergeant, I am innocent. It is not their affair. It is for us to handle it. We are members of the Resistance, Sergeant. We can't interfere with this, Blit. He's my father. Those are the regulations. Come on, we gotta move out. No, Sergeant. Bullet, I gave you an order. Now move out! Begins, huh? Yeah. It begins. Baker yet? Just a flesh wound. He'll be okay. And he's a lucky guy. You know, in a couple of days we'll be going at that town again, and Baker's gonna be holding some nurse's hand. What? Here, Sergeant. I'm making a reconnaissance into the Beauville area. S2 wants to find out if there are any crowds still there. Well, maybe you could find out what happened to my father. Maybe you can. I'm taking one man, that's you. We're also supposed to make contact with a French civilian. A one-armed man by the name of Henri Fouquet. Check the rest of the rooms. Madame Fouquet. Mon pauvre Henri. C'était un bon petit homme, Henri. Un bon mari. Il ne voulait jamais rien de personne. Renty. Did she say what happened? Germans picked him up. Il est mort. They shot him. Madame Fouquet. Je suis désolé. Meurtrier! Meurtrier! Come on, let's get out of here. We can't leave her, sir. You can't help her now. She'll raise every kraut in the area. Come on.
Kira. Comprenez-vous, c'est Paul. What happened to my father? Nothing. Nothing. He's alive. They believed him. Oui, oui, Paul. Paul, the Germans are. Kira. À qui parles-tu? You tell your friend that you parle. Paul, father, I. Paul, you are insane coming here to my house. Do you know? Reconnaissance. The sergeant was wounded. I couldn't leave him behind. I didn't know where else to bring him. This, this sergeant, where is he? He's behind the house. I thought we could bring him in and you could take care no. of him. I can do nothing. Emil! Do you know what can happen to us if they find him here? Him and his wounded sergeant? Do you want us to be killed? Father, if you don't help him, he'll die. He'll die. But he is a soldier. I am not. Paul, what are you going to do? There's only one thing I can do. Let's try to get him back to our lives. Through the Germans? With a wounded man? You cannot do it, Paul. You will be killed. What do you want me to do? Leave him in a field to die? The old chaise long. It will fit into the storeroom behind my office. He will live longer than you or I. Your breakfast, Jesse. Did you eat much? I ate a little. How soon do you think I'll be able to leave? When you are able to walk. Last night, the Germans found your hat in the cafe. Also, your blood. They will be searching. Did you sleep well, Paul? Better than you did. You were out early. I had a baby to deliver at 6 o'clock this morning. It was born dead. No yesterday, not today, and not tomorrow. Dead. The food is for the Germans, not for the mothers. Be quiet. Ma petite fée, elle était dans la rue. Du verre est tombé d'une fenêtre. Elle est blessée. Can you hear anything? I think it's a patient. Elle 
dira qu'elle soit encore en vie. Avec ces Allemands qui viennent au milieu de la nuit et vous réveillent. Tenez, ce matin, 3 heures du matin, 3 heures, perquisition dans la maison. Chaque maison du village, chacune. Germans woke her up at three this morning to search her house. They searched every house in the village. Every one. Sarge, they didn't come here. Well, maybe we're just lucky. How soon do you think the Americans will be here again? I don't know. Two, three days. A week, perhaps. They will find you in the sergeant. And when they do, Claire, that will be the end of accusations about me by people like Henri Fouquet. Henri is dead. Yeah. There are others like him. You are not eating, Paul. Oh, I'm not very hungry. <laughs> the wounded man needs more than my son. What happened, father? Last night you were so worried about the Germans. Mm. I was nervous. You have been here almost 24 hours. They have not found you and they will not. <laughs> what is the matter? This morning, her baby was born dead because his mother didn't have enough to eat. Mm. And now you will not eat. And that will not help the baby, Paul. Your father did everything he could. He brought food whenever it was possible. Then just where did my father get all this food? From the Germans. I'm a doctor. They allow me extra food ration, just as they give me extra gasoline coupon for my auto. So it hasn't been so bad for you, has it? I will bring some coffee. It has been now, Paul, for everyone. You are in the army. What is your greatest concern? Remaining alive, perhaps? I suppose so. Of course. And that has been ours. We do what we can. We survive. And is it so wrong to have one glass of good wine? Or one dish of good food? Is that all there is to think about? For today, yes. For tomorrow, perhaps something else. The baby is dead. That is yesterday. For the love of God, stay away from the window. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? What happened? The Germans have an ammunition dump anywhere near here. Oui, about one kilometer. Is that what it was? I don't know what else would make a blast like that. Somebody must have planted a bomb. Yeah, hello. So a Frenchman destroyed a German ammunition supply. He's a hero. Now let, let us sit and finish our dinner. What are you doing? 
Well, first thing I ever promised myself was never be taken prisoner with my pants off. That was an ammo dump, wasn't it? I think so. That means all the crowds will be searching every house for the guys who did it. Not this one. Give me a hand, will you? Just... How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. Your dad's a good doctor. Yeah. Now stop tearing yourself apart. He helped me stay alive. He risked his life to do it. Oh. Too easy. Hand me my shoes. You know, Sarge, I've been thinking about him ever since I was 10. Since I was 10 years old. My mom would never even talk about him, but she could never stop me from thinking about how great it would be to have a father. And when she died, it became even more important. No, I found him. I think I love him. But I'm frightened, Sarge. I, I don't even know who he is. Dr. Emil Vallet. Beauville. Prince. That's a name, not a man. Now, maybe this sounds crazy, but I almost wish the Germans had searched this house. Doctor, soll ich den nach der Das gehört. <lacht> mein lieber Doktor, Ihr elendes Deutsch ist fast genau so elend wie mein miserables Französisch. You ask what you can do for me. You can help me greatly. You uh, heard the explosion, no doubt, earlier this evening. Oh, we know nothing about that. Of course not. But you know what these disturbances do to me. I'm sorry to disturb you at this late hour, but it's impossible for me to sleep. Well, I will fix something for you. Uh, something you, you can take with you, Captain. Uh, there will be only a moment. You're very kind, Doctor. As always. Bleiben Sie mit hier. Go right ahead, Doctor. Doctor, very amusing indeed. 
Suddenly, after one day with the Americans, you don't know what I mean. This should supply you for many days. Thank you. I want the names of those who are responsible. And I want them by tomorrow night. But how can I? Please. You're not being very helpful to my stomach tonight. Now, we know it's no longer our one-armed friend, Henri Fouquet. So tomorrow, you will make your rounds. You see your patients. You will talk to them. And they will talk to you. And tomorrow night, you will speak to me. Understand? Dr. Firmont, you have nothing to fear, doctor. You've been much too valuable to me. Your brother, as usual, was an excellent doctor. Good night, madam. Well, we not. One more step, and he would have seen you both. It is quite late. I think we should all try to go back to bed. Not one. You do not believe me. My own son. Look at him. My own son, he, he does not believe me. The, the, the captain uh, has asked me many times to do these things for him. I have always refused. Always. What kind of man do you think I am? How many men have you killed, Father? I said, how many men have you killed? <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> you don't know how he has been. He is a terrible man. You would have killed me. Hey, man has a right to stay alive. You'll die. <sighs> you, you lived well, did you not? You ate well, did you not? You shut your eyes, did you not? This is not my war. I did not want it. All I wanted was to stay alive. Is that so wrong? I stayed alive. And I have seen you again after 17 years. Is that so wrong, my son? Keys. Where are the keys to the car? In his coat pocket. 
Why? The girl's used to seeing his car on the road late at night. Maybe we can get through. But you are safer here. Are we? Just how frightened do you have to be, Father, before you turn us over to the captain? But you are my son. Well, I wish I'd been killed before I found you. I will drive. It will be safer for you and Paul if you are not seen. I often drive. They will not stop me. No, it's, it's too dangerous. Please, let me do this. Let me do this one thing. All right. Let's go, Willette. Hände hoch! Wer sind Sie? Verdammt, Mensch, das sind Amerikaner. Das müssen Sie sein. is a checking point. They will search the car. Do you think you can make it? I made it this far. I'll make it. Just let me sit down here for a minute. I'm going back. Going back? We. Oui. She can't. She'll be killed. That is no longer possible. Your father was right, Paul. I shut my eyes. The first time I did that, that was when I died. I can't let you go. I'm going back. Adieu, Paul. Souviens-toi combien ton père voulait vivre. Ça te prouve combien il t'aimait. What a girl. Yeah. You know what she said to me just now? Mm -hmm. No. Remember how much your father wanted to stay alive? That will tell you how much he loved you. Try, huh? 